we're going to try to take a look at C major, add flat three, flat six, the Holdsworth scale on a D minor chord. So I'm really trying to see it as D Dorian. We're gonna start right here, right around the fifth position. And we're just going to try to memorize a few shapes inside it. They're gonna have string skipping, they're gonna be odd, but we're gonna just try to use visual reference points around the chord shape. So the first one we're gonna do around a D Dorian, which in this position just looks like this. <laughs> By adding those A flats and E flats, we're going to expand that shape into being this. So I'm just trying to see these structures. There are three notes per string. It's gonna skip the G string. And I'm really looking at my starting points in relation to the chord, just to orient myself. Starting off the root, flat five flat three and six. To make it easy, I'm just using one shape on every string except for the first one. Now a great thing to do is use that to play sort of out and just bring it back to whatever version of Dorian you like. So in slow-mo, it's something like this. trying to lock myself into this lick kind of pattern but it's just a way of freezing a part of the scale to where I can actually execute it against the chord and then going back to Dorian playing. Here are some examples. So if you like this, we're gonna start a new playlist on our channel called Holdsworth Patterns. We're gonna update it a lot and all of it will be transcribed on our Patreon. So join us there, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you tomorrow.